After their mother went on her dream vacation, her sons worked together on their secret plan. When their mom came back home, she didn't recognize her house and cried because of what they had done. Nothing can be more painful than the untimely death of a loved one. Mother of two, Janet, experienced harrowing grief as she witnessed her husband of 25 years, Thomas, buried and gone. It had been two months since her husband was laid to rest. The wetness on the mound of soil on his grave dried up, but Janet was still drowning in agony and tears. Eric and Brad couldn't bear to see their mother in so much pain. To comfort her, one day they discussed with her the places she would love to visit. Florence brought out an old photo album and began sharing cute moments of her love story with their late dad. Suddenly, she burst into tears, pointing to one particular picture. I still remember this place, she cried, showing an old picture of a bridge. I met your dad here. We shared the same passion for wandering in nature and bird watching. I wish I could go there again and tell him how much I miss him. After listening to their mother's longing, 20-year-old Eric and Brad had an idea. The next day, it surprised her with a plane ticket in order to fulfill her wish. But it's thousands of miles away. Are you sure you want me to go so far alone? Janet asked her boys, surprised and in tears. Mom, trust us. You will not regret this trip, said Eric. Yeah, Mom, you need a break. You should go. Janet could not resist the offer because she was happy to be able to revisit the place that symbolized her love for her late husband. She agreed and left for the vacation two days later, unaware of what her sons had planned to do to her house. Son, thank you so much. It still feels the same, and I am standing on the bridge where your father proposed to me. Janet said on a call from her vacation spot, Mom, we are glad you are enjoying your holiday. I hope you are comfortable in the hotel that we booked for you, replied Eric. Yes, son. It is amazing. It still feels like yesterday when I met your father. I wish you two were with me now. Well, sorry, Mom. Brad, and I have important work back here. Maybe some other time. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Janet blindly believed Eric and assumed they indeed had some important work, but she knew little about what was in their minds. Janet toured around the city for the next few days, recalling her lovely times with Thomas. She visited every place, including their favorite cafe, and felt her heart lighten up with their memories. Meanwhile, Eric and Brad realized they were running out of time and decided to implement their plan. They had also taken a week off work to be able to accomplish what they set out to do before their mother returned. Hurry up, Brad. We have to remove this one before she comes, Eric said. Yeah, you're right. Let's hurry, replied Brad. I'm glad that you came up with the idea of sending her away, Eric added, or else we would not have been able to do this. The two were busy all week long. They woke up before sunrise and were occupied until late at night. Soon, the day of Janet's return arrived. Eric picked her up from the airport and was anxious. And then I went to the cafe where your dad gifted me that Janet shared about her trip. What is wrong, sweetheart? You look tense. Ah, nothing, mom. I'm just tired, Eric pretended. Janet knew something was wrong, especially after seeing Eric constantly on his phone. Is everything ready? Yeah, we're on our way. Soon she overheard him talk to someone. Janet grew suspicious and arrived home only to witness the biggest shock of her life. Oh my God, she gasped. What happened to my house? How did you boys do it? Eric and Brad approached their mom, leading her by the hand to her house. Here mom, we finished what dad started. They told her, showing her the revamped house. And wait, there is another surprise for you. The brothers had teamed up to fix the house and paint it. Their dad had started repairing the home but died of cardiac arrest, leaving the renovations unfinished. So, Eric and Brad surprised their mother by completing it for their father. They renovated the kitchen, added new furniture to the living room, and painted the house. Janet was astonished to see her home's new makeover. She could not believe her eyes and burst into tears, only to be told to hold back her tears for another heartwarming surprise. Eric and Brad blindfolded their mother and led her to her bedroom. As soon as they removed the blindfold, an emotional Janet gaped in astonishment. Oh my God, this is unbelievable, she cried. The wainscoted wall displayed a beautiful collection of family photos from different timelines. Her children's heartwarming gesture touched Janet. She hugged and kissed them, unable to stop crying. Later that evening, Janet spent a long time with her sons in front of the fireplace, sharing her holiday experience. And here's what's more surprising, I felt your dad's hand on my shoulder as soon as I closed my eyes and said, I love you on the bridge. 
I felt his presence in a gust of wind that made my heart lighter and happier. Yeah, mom, dad is always with us in our memories, said Eric as Brad played a beautiful melody on the piano, filling their lovely home with sweet memories. This story is touching. So my dear friends, remember to show love and respect for your parents' desires. After their dad passed away, Eric and Brad sent their mom on her dream vacation to make her happy and cherish her memories. Then, they pleasantly surprised her with a beautiful home makeover to honor their dad's memory and complete the house repairs he had started. Small acts of kindness can bring joy to someone's life and help them cope with their sadness. In addition to renovating their house, Eric and Brad also made their mom's bedroom special by decorating it with family photos. Janet was deeply moved and it made her feel better.